The reaction that I would like to talk about now is acid-base reactions. Acid-base reactions are very important in living system. Many biological systems depend on acidity of solution. They have the peak per, uh, performance at certain period or enzymes actually can have the best performance at a given pH. If the pH is changed, they cannot function. The same thing in organic synthesis. When we are making a new chemical, the reaction does not go unless pH is fixed at certain number. Our blood system is designed to have a fixed pH between 7.2 and 7.4. So if for some reason, the range of pH is going above 7.4 or below 7.1, we are going to die. How does our blood keep its pH fixed? So we have got three systems, three security systems. We have three security systems, which is going to watch and control the pH of our blood. I'm going to show you how the pH control is happening in our blood. One of the systems which pH is being fixed in our blood, let's say uh, there is a possibility that we take a very acidic food like coffee, like soft drink, like vinegar, and like let's say pineapple juice and other juices which are acidic in our body. So our blood has to adjust the pH somehow. So I'm going to show you the importance of acid and bases in our uh, system. I want you to look at this yellow car, the yellow box. It shows dissociation of carbonic acid. This is carbonic acid. Now, how is carbonic acid formed in our blood? Well, CO2 is going to be reacting with water. It makes carbonic acid. Now, carbonic acid is the same acid which is in our soft drink. When you open a soft drink, do you hear pss, which shows release of carbon dioxide? The carbonic acid is always in equilibrium with carbon dioxide and water. It's a result of the action of carbon dioxide and water, and the reaction is in equilibrium. That means at a given time, you have water, CO2, and H2CO3. So carbonic acid, being a weak acid, is going to dissociate to hydrogen ion and bicarbonic anion. So if for some reason you are having acidic food, the acidic reagent eventually is going to enter our blood, and hydrogen ion concentration is going to go up. If hydrogen ion concentration is going up, the pH is going to be going down. It may go below 7.2. But our blood has a system to protect itself from any entering hydrogen ion. It will neutralize the hydrogen ion. How? Look at this equilibrium in the yellow card. Do you see? I have got a double arrow here, it means equilibrium. Now, what do we know about equilibrium reaction? Do you remember we said Le Chatelier's law governs equilibrium? What does that mean? It simply means that an equilibrium is going to shift to counteract any changes. That means if acid is coming in, this equilibrium is going to have to consume acid by shifting to red direction. It's going to be shifting here. That way, hydrogen ion is going to be consumed by reacting with bicarbonate ion and making carbonic acid. The hydrogen ion which entered the blood is now used to produce carbonic acid. Look at this other equilibrium. Let's call this equilibrium number two. Let's call this equilibrium number one. In equilibrium number one, if the concentration of carbonic acid is going up, is it fair to say that equilibrium is going to respond 
to this change of concentration, the response is equilibrium is going to have to shift, shift to a direction which is going to decrease concentration of H2CO3. That means equilibrium is going to go in direction of red arrow. So the excess carbonic acid, the excess H2CO3, which is formed, is now breaking down to water and carbon dioxide. And carbon dioxide is going to go long and it's going to be uh, getting out of our body. So there are two more security system which is watching the concentration of hydrogen ion in our blood. And we will talk about those two other systems. So guys, there is a bicarbonate reserve here. Bicarbonate is needed to react with excess hydrogen ion to make carbonic acid which will be converted to carbon dioxide. So this bicarbonate reserve system delivers the bicarbonate. This is bicarbonate, HCO3. Delivers bicarbonate when it is needed to react with excess hydrogen ion. So this slide, the purpose of this slide is simply showing you that acids and bases are extremely important in chemical reactions and living system. Now I want to give you another scenario where hydrogen ion concentration drops, where a basic reagent enters our blood. How does our blood keep its pH? If a basic reagent enters the blood, obviously H plus is going to react with the basic reagent to make water. So the concentration of hydrogen ion is going to go lower. So if I look at this equilibrium, call it equilibrium number two, if the hydrogen ion concentration is going down, equilibrium number two is going to shift to right to make more hydrogen ion concentration. That means if I now look at equilibrium number one on the left, concentration of carbonic acid is going down. Equilibrium number one is going to respond to concentration change by shifting to the direction of blue, blue arrow, arrow. It's going to be shifting to the direction of blue arrow. That means carbon dioxide reacts with water to replace the amount of H2CO3 which was consumed. So having these equilibrium reactions here, simply means we're going to stay alive, our blood is going to have a fixed pH, 